my beautiful buddies and welcome to an overview for my throwback save file. I am going to go over and show you guys my Strange Town version of this save file and I am going to also show you some minor updates I've done to Pleasant View as well. Um, but yeah, I'm super duper excited about this. Um, before I actually go ahead and show you guys all my townies and in the later part of this video all of the new um like households and like i mean houses and like buildings i kind of want to go ahead and get the whole boring stuff out of the way and tell you guys how to download this and uh, the functions to save as which aren't boring but there are essential to <laughs> i guess being able to like put this and have this in your game um i'm going to actually insert a clip that i did from last time um my first version of the save file i just called it pleasant view save file um but yeah the the same like rules apply to that so i'm just gonna like include that from the last time if you know how to download this and you can like skip it i'll probably put like a um like a timestamp like at the bottom where you can like skip it to actually when i start talking to stop talking about how <laughs> strange down um and like the updates to pleasant view but um some important notes before you skip um if you have issues with this i do go over on how to fix them however one thing that you should know is that it is obviously no longer called Rosebud's Pleasant View save file. It's called Rosebud's Throwback save file. So um, you'll be downloading that and obviously instead of what I'm talking about there. Um, but it is still a seven. It's still the number 769 um, for the save file. And don't worry if you guys are freaking out right now. You're like, I don't know what all this means. Because I, I go over it, I promise. Um... But it is that number safe. It is that number save file. So if you have the old version of the save file, please go into your saves, back everything up like I tell you to, <laughs> um, and pick out the old save file that is 769 before you like go ahead and try doing all this. Because if you do have 769 save files, which I doubt most of you will, um, then you are gonna have some issues but um the good news is that i'll tell you how to fix them in this video but that please go ahead and check that also too if you don't have 769 save files and you're and you're still having issues try rebooting the game a couple of times because sometimes that works sometimes the save just doesn't open up the first time you put it in the game. Um, I will try to answer any questions down below, but yeah, I will include the whole um, the clip right now so you guys know what I'm talking about and you guys can get into there hassle free. Hello guys, so welcome to my desktop and we're here to learn how to actually put the save file in your game. Um, and yes, I'm representing my brand very well. We have the roses. <laughs> um, but anyway, in your downloads folder, you should get something that says, like, just like this. It should be Rosebud Pleasant View. And we're just going to right click and open this. So in your folder, you're probably going to see these, like, um, these save files, I guess you should say. And we're just going to put this off to the side for a minute. And yes, again, downloads folder. And then we're going to pull up our documents. So we're going to go to documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4, and then here, listen to me very carefully guys, you are going to want to go to saves, not mods. I'm going to repeat this one more time. Do not go to mods, do not go to mods. We are going to be in our saves folder. And before we begin anything, I just want to tell you guys to right click this and to copy this and then we're gonna paste this onto our desktop and then we're gonna paste it and then it should take a second to paste but the reason why you're gonna do this is just because if any of you guys accidentally delete something you don't mean to delete you're gonna have a backup and you're just gonna want to name this like I don't know saves 
2.0 or whatever you want to like name it that's just for backup in case you guys make a boo-boo <laughs> and then we're gonna go back to the Sims 4 and then we're gonna go actually click into the saves and you're gonna do me a favor you're gonna scroll all the way to the end so you guys could see what <laughs> what you guys have and all you're gonna do here is you're gonna just gonna go ahead and select all these so shift down and then you're gonna copy them and then here you're just gonna click paste I'm not actually, not actually gonna click paste because I have these already in game but when you do that they should show up and you should get all of these here so like the same ones I have and I have in the other folder that you guys got from your downloads like the compressed ones the compressed folder it should show up here like all like this and you guys most of you here should be done and won't have anything to worry about but um, if any of you in any case have 769 save files I want you guys to do me a favor and rename this to, to a number you don't have so like maybe 770 um, 780 800 something that you don't have that way your other save file that is named the same thing like the same number won't get overwritten and then after that it's like really simple it's done most of you guys won't even have to worry about that last part but that's all you do and you're just gonna want to click everything off and you're just gonna want to launch it in origin like normal and then yeah everything's good so I'll see you guys back on the game to show you guys the save as functions if you don't already know that so I'll see you there okay. so now that you guys are back from that whole clip I do want to tell you guys one more important thing before we go ahead and talk about the townies <laughs> so we have um, this save as button and a lot of you guys last time told me you guys didn't actually know what this does but is this a magical button guys it is a magical button so let's say you're like i really like your save file bro let's go ahead and um pop it in game but there's one issue i want to be able to use the save file again and again and again without the townies getting old and you know being having to like go ahead back to your website like back to your tumblr or whatever you download this from um up and like redownload it and keep doing that because you don't have to do that guys there is a simple solution for all of this so let's say you get the save file it's in game and you want to start playing with one of these households or you want to pop a new one in that's great but after you do that instead of just going ahead and saving as normal go ahead and click save as and you'll generate a brand new save file so you'll see like mine my rose rosebud save file and you can just like name this new one whatever you want like whatever you want you can name it like vlad go away like whatever like whatever you want like literally whatever and then after that the great news is is that you could just save as normal and then that way when you quit your game and next time you're going to go into play you can hit that same save file that you renamed and that you were now playing and when you are ready to start a new game in my save file you can just go ahead and repeat the same steps you could just load up rosebud's throwback save file click save as rename it save as normal reboot that's all you have to do and this save and the save like my save my original like throwback save file will keep you know like being as if you're clicking like a new game in the main menu every single time because these save because these townies will not get old and i hope that like clarifies things for you i hope that was clear if you guys have any more questions about the save as you can leave them down below but now now is the moment you've all been waiting for um i get to show you guys my townies and i will start with my townies in pleasant view so something you guys should know is that willow creek um is is pleasant view i did include the descriptions of uh, pleasant view in willow creek as well as all of the townies and if you guys want to see an in-depth look at pleasant view i will make sure to link the other 
like the first one I've done for this. It kind of goes over Pleasant View in depth, but um, my new thing is Strange Town. So I'm only going to tell you guys like just the little updates I've done with this. Um, and so far, the only the only like real updates I really needed to do with this is that I gave everybody um, seasons outfits and I changed Lilith's and um, Angela's hair. I put a hair on them from Island the Island Paradise pack or whatever. Um, so if you guys happen not to have that pack good news is because i've only used those that's literally the only item i use from that pack so you kind of don't need that pack if you don't have it because that because that is the only item i use from it however i do think this hair suits them a lot better like from sims 2 aesthetic so if you have it that's great if you don't you don't need it <laughs> um which is good news but yeah that's the only thing i really change for this again I can check out my other video if you guys want to see um, Pleasant View more in depth. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and talk about Strange Town. We will start with the Spectre household. So the Spectres, of course. Actually, I'll go. You know what? I'll go into Manage Households. I'll make it a lot easier. So as you guys can see, yeah, we have our old um, Pleasant View like. Pleasant View Townies and things like that. Um, but yeah, actually, I'll start with the the singles household because they're right here. So yeah, we have the singles girls. They have their whole descriptions. And all of these townies, absolutely every single one of them, have jobs. They have their... Um, relationships they have their skills like that's all there like the whole drama of like pleasant view and strange town is all there they have that connections they have their enemies they have their lovers they have their friends um it's really interesting you guys will definitely definitely like it if you guys like that whole stuff <laughs> um and of course too i don't know why mr smith is in his person disguise but i can assure you that he is an alien and yeah he's in his person disguise right now that's so weird oh my god but yeah he is an alien so you guys don't have to worry he's just in his disguise right now um we also do have mr loner um what i did with mr loner you're actually really gonna like his house I'll, I'll, he he lives in this like underground bunker kind of thing um it was kind of inspired actually by one of the townies that was here originally in strangerville but with a flying saucer and it's really cool i'll show you guys um and we also have the beakers too so the beakers are really interesting um we also do have um miss grunt miss mrs grunt um who is dead um so she's in her own household um and yeah we have them um we also do have like some of the specters ghosts here they're part of the specter family of course we have mr grim there he's he's um spec he's all of specters lover by the way too in case you didn't know um we have olive and um what do we call it? I forgot her name. Ophelia. <laughs> yeah, we have her there too. We also have Pleasants. They're there, but they're not meant to be mixed up in this mess, but they just happen to be. We have quote unquote Bella Goth. Um, if you guys don't know the whole mystery with Geb Bella Goth, um, you should read up on it. But basically, Bella Goth went missing in um, The Sims 2, and she happened to have like a clone in uh, like strange town so i attempted to put her clone in here which is really really interesting um i did a full-on lp on pleasant view which is really really interesting if you guys are interested in that too um but yeah we also have the curious brothers we also have crystal Vu, who actually is she's a townie but she doesn't live in the town if that makes any sense so she will be walking around you guys could perhaps like place her down if you guys are interested um but yeah she is there she has it has a connection to like one of the curious brothers just like in the sims 2 so that's interesting and then we also have a little easter egg that i popped in for you guys um and that's our some sims 2 npcs um so we have mrs crumple bottom we have the unsavory charleston i think that's how you say his name um charlton i think and we have the social bunny and of course they don't have all of their functionalities from the sims 2 like Mrs. Crumple Bottom ain't gonna go walk up to your sim and just start like beating you with her purse. <laughs> you know, that'd be cool. I'd love to be able to do that if I could, but 
is not going to happen. He's not going to pickpocket you either. Um, unless you play him and you want to happen to mooch. Like, isn't there a, not mooch? Oh my god, there's a trait for that. He has a trait, but he won't do it just like out of the blue. I, I believe not, at least. But yeah, they're there. You guys can see them and cause your own mayhem with them. I just thought they'd bring some good old nostalgia for you guys. Um, and yeah, like, I just... I just like love the save file just because it's like a good old like passion project for me um and yeah there's just so many different layers for you guys to like go ahead and discover um and i have i have of course soup did all the relationships and things like that there has been some like weird things kind of going on in the smith households curious brothers and single sisters well at least like the two alien twins because mr smith the one that should be looking like an alien right now but apparently he's in a disguise for whatever reason um actually impregnated his okay he impregnated his wife's father <laughs> and um they are um technically like mr smith is technically related like those are his kids like the two alien girls um but those two alien girls are his wife oh, his wife's si like sisters which is really weird so, but and i can't do that in this game because obviously like i can't like that's just that's just weird i can't do that <laughs> Um, like just just for technical reasons in the game that I just can't do so I just decided just to make them um, their offspring but have them this those two like girls don't have any connection to like the curious brothers and mrs. Smith because mrs. Smith and the curious brothers are also like relatives are also like brothers and sisters um, but yeah other than that like the whole family tree things are on point they're all they're all there they're all there for your enjoyment um all the specter of course has a freaking graveyard in her front house which i will make sure to show you um she actually is in relationship with the grim reaper um i also too believe in the conspiracy theory that she sold nervous off to the beakers so that's there too um I, and it's just it's just a theory but he also but he lives with the um the beaker family and he's he's quite a, he's quite an interesting character and they have a lot of machinery in the house it's really really cool um we also to have the grunt household um and i think like the biggest change honestly with them is what i did with where is he where is he where is he where are you grunts where are you there you go with um with what's his face his name is oh my god his name isn't tank what is his name i forgot i promise you guys i get all this i get all their names right and things like that when i'm doing it but i just forget when I'm, not, <laughs> when I'm not in their household but yeah i the biggest change was like him i i believe his name is buzz i believe that's tank no he's buzz okay whatever you guys know who i'm talking about but basically he's like has like kind of like a different kind of vibe than what he did in the sims 2 like in the sims 2 he kind of look like a toe no offense <laughs> no offense to the sims team love you all i love them <laughs> some are awesome but yeah i kind of gave him a makeover kind of like a cool guy makeover um but yeah he's like basically like i guess like the biggest change i think from the grunt family um and also to for um some it, just background inf info too apparently general buzz um is apparently all the specter's new target so if you guys play with her and play with them maybe you can be the next sim you guys kill off who knows <laughs> just a suspicion and then of course we have mr loner which mr loner was a sim bin townie but i decided to kind of give him a bunker in my version and put him in my game um because in a stranger veil um from the sims 4 you can have sims with like the parrot with a paranoid trait and things like that so i believe like he maybe could just play a part in that kind of whole thing like if you guys wanted him to maybe get ahead and learn more about the mystery of bella and just all that stuff like that maybe that's why he's there maybe that's why he's here it's up to you for you to choose the world is your oyster <laughs> now of course we have the curious brothers and um they're really really interesting the curious brothers i feel like too are the only 
I believe, yeah, they're the only household that I just made over from EA's townies because EA does make um, old Sims 2 townies now, I believe, on the gallery. Um, but they're the only ones I feel like I did make over every single other, other townie I handmade with you guys. Um, and um, we also, too, have some households for you just to move into straight away um this one's a little bit more expensive almost at 30k and this one's a starter trailer um but yeah they're there too they all they have their science sciencey jobs and of course um i believe pascal is pascal the one who's pregnant i can't remember honestly the one who got abducted and got pregnant um I believe Pascal was the one who was pregnant. I, I can't remember. I'm so bad with names. I'm so bad with names remembering them when I'm not playing them. But yeah, you guys know which one's pregnant, which he is still pregnant. <laughs> um, just like Brandy, by the way, too. I believe Brandy doesn't really look pregnant, but yeah, she is. She's just early on. Don't worry, guys. I got your back. Um, and uh, we have the two... And then we have the two other households, so I put a bar here and I put a spa, like workout area. You guys can change back and forth depending on what you want to do with it. Um, and I believe too that there was like a spa or something like that in Strange Town originally in The Sims 2. Um, so that's why I was kind of inspired by that. Um, and of course too, we have the lovely single sisters, um, who are nestled there and they have their whole drama between their households. You know, some of them don't like each other. Some of them, I just don't get along. Some of them do. <laughs> um, they have, they have interesting they have an interesting job too because they were another sim in townie so i believe not all of them had jobs so i kind of had to go ahead and be a little bit more creative especially too with um miss erin i believe miss erin was definitely the most inspired by i guess like her like system in the sims in the sims 2 like they have like different interests um otherwise i feel like i got lola's and Kristen's job's like on point like it was uh, it's on point from their descriptions but yeah Aaron and um and Chloe were a little bit more difficult for me I kind of had to like dip into their likes and kind of just it be like more inspired um so hopefully you guys like like what I did with this and all the townies and things like that again if you guys want me want to see me re like want if you guys want to go ahead and see me recreate all these houses and all these sims you guys could go ahead and watch the playlist i will make sure to link it down big <laughs> it down below but yeah um, i'm going to transition now so you guys can see all the houses and the buildings um from strange town in um like a town like the town tower part of this and yeah also too by the way too like i said if you guys want to go ahead and check out with that pleasant view looks like i will make sure to link it through at the end there's a lot of content honestly with my channel with like that involves like the save file it is like my baby i'm always updating it and that's the reason too why i decided to change the name to rosebud's throwback save file is in the future we could add veronaville too and i could add um other worlds from like sims 1 and sims 3 and sims 2 and even spinoff games one of my my next project i believe that i really want to get into is um updating San Machuno to Sim City from the Herbs, which will be really, really fun. Um, but, but yeah, I'll meet you guys for the strain for the strange town um, town tour. So yeah, thanks for listening. See you there. Hey buddies. Okay, so I am back from the future, and we are now in the town tour part of this. So I have this organized by screenshots this time, and I am showing you guys every single build that i did in the town um off camera or on the only lot that i did not include inside this um inside this town that i did not do was the lab but the only reason why i did that is if you actually wanted to play with the whole functionality of the strangerville pack that the sims 4 did you know it's there i didn't touch that um but yeah i i hope you guys really do enjoy this like i've said like a hundred times but i really really put my heart and soul into this and i just think that 
It is such a fun project for me to do and I will continue doing it as long as you guys continue liking it. Um, leave me your thoughts down below too about how you guys feel about me going ahead and doing um, the herbs next and where and what town you think I should put Ronaville because I have been in between where to put Veronaville, which is why I feel like I'm doing something in between it because I'm not exactly sure what world I want to build in it. Because at some point, I was like, I really think I want to do it in Windenburg because it makes the most sense in Windenburg. However, Windenburg is huge. <laughs> and I am aware that it might take me like three years to do Windenburg. So we'll see. Um, I know you guys can't see me right now, but I currently have my dog like chilling on my lap right now. He's just like, sitting in my lap while I do this voiceover. He was so cute because he like went up to the microphone and he was like, what's that? What's that? <laughs> um, but yeah, what else was I going to say in this? Oh my gosh. But yeah, as you guys can see too, like I've put down a lot of different kinds of lots. There was that one lot I was talking about that was like a whole bunker. That's really, really interesting. Um, and of course we have our local bar and our spa. And like I said too, if any of these builds catch your eye i will make sure to link down the playlist um at the end of the video as long as probably like a few others because i've been making pleasant view and strange town for a while now um but yeah they'll be at the end so you guys can go ahead and see every single speed build and create a sim that i've done on the channel for you um one thing too that i am really excited about is to try to get back to streaming because streaming is something that i have like put aside for a while like I want to say like this like past like I don't know like nine to ten months or so however like it's been a while since I streamed and the reason was for that is because I didn't really have a proper mic for a while um and like I needed to do post editing and things like that for my videos for it to sound good but now I don't really need to do that so streaming can be a thing again um and yeah i'll slowly try to get back into that especially too because i'm going back to school like really really rather soon actually this video that's coming out i'll be moving back um this week so if if videos are a little bit slow for a while and you're wondering like hey where's rosebud then just know that school probably just got busy and i'm just working on a new schedule for you guys and all that <laughs> which is really really interesting i swear the summer went by so freaking fast comment down below too if you think the summer went by really fast i feel like the entire summer just felt like i don't know it just felt like a blur to me it, it's just like so weird um but yeah i don't know maybe it's because too that i always feel like winter drags on and on and on and on i don't know if you guys feel like that too but i feel like there's like so much cold weather rather than there is like warm weather and i right like the warm weather but yeah this this video is getting off topic now <laughs> like way off topic um but yeah i like said basically all that like the important info, info about strange town make sure you guys too if you guys play in the town don't hesitate to send me pictures of your families playing in the town or you guys playing white howdies and things like that because I love it when you guys do that. Like some of you guys did that last time and I nearly had tears in my eyes. Like I was like, oh my god, someone actually likes what I did. <gasps> it was it was such a good feeling. It was it was really sweet and it does make me really, really happy to see you guys really do enjoy my videos and, and all that and things like that because a lot of heart and soul goes into this um something too that i'm really hoping someday is for us to get university because i would actually love to do a continuation of strange town actually i'm not strange town of my let's play pleasant view and have the girls go off to university someday but i don't know we'll see it's up in the air everything is up in the air right now we take one step at a time um and yeah let me know too out of all the houses that i have created which one is your favorite i guess well i made more than just houses of course in the save file what lot i guess is your favorite um personally for me i feel like i'm definitely the most partial to the either the grunt household or the smiths i think Ooh, i feel like i have to pick smith though i just like I like their house. I do. I really like their house. Um, as far as the things that I'm, I have recreated, um, I think that one definitely goes by the best. I think it'll, I think it's last actually, in this. 
Um, one other thing too, I forgot to mention that I usually actually put the little blurbs about like the town in, if you click the eye, I did it for the Pleasant View. So in Willow Creek, if you pre press the eye, I like put the whole story of Pleasant View inside that box. But I forgot to do it for Strange Town. So next time it gets updated, <laughs> I will make sure to not forget to put that. Um, so whoops, I made an oopsie on my part. Um, otherwise, I think everything everything is good and dandy. Like you guys should just. It should be canon for you. You guys should like have everything that was in The Sims 2 basically into The Sims 4, at least for those two towns. Um, and yeah, I just I just feel like it's so much fun. And I feel really feel like too, if you guys ever feel like you're stuck and you guys don't know what to do for you guys' channels, if you have one, or even if you just play on your own, Honestly, make your own save file. They are so freaking fun. Um, even too, like even if you're not recreating things, just making your own storylines and making your own households and things like that just gives the game just a new, fresh take to it. Because I feel like it gives you more things to play with. I really, really feel like The Sims is the most fun, especially for me, when I have storylines to play with and things to kind of dive into. L like a book, you know? I feel like that's what makes the game as fun as it is and i do really really enjoy of course building and cre doing creative sims for you but of course i'm talking more about gameplay and let's play wise i definitely think it helps to have like a very immersive experience you know like have your sims be in their own world and things like that and i think that's what ultimately makes it fun <laughs> Um, and yeah, like with this screen, there is just so many screenshots and, and screenshots in this one. There's so freaking many. Um, it, it kind of like, it does really shock me too to see how many like lots I have built. Cause it like doesn't really feel like that much when you look at the map. But when you look back on it, you, you think like, oh my gosh, holy cow. I have created so many damn things and I feel like that's cool. I feel like it's really really good to have an outlet to go and create like this and for you guys to actually enjoy it <laughs> but yeah this is like the smith household the ones i told the one that i told you that was my favorite that's coming that's like coming up right now and i'm doing um but yeah the one thing that bothered me is that um pollination number nine mr smith was not in what was like not in his alien where i don't know why he was in his like disguise maybe because when I go ahead and did the whole like relationships and skill up and job thing, um, I was in another household, so maybe he automatically put on his disguise. I don't know. I don't like it on the Sims 4 how they automatically put on their disguise. I like them looking like aliens. Aliens shouldn't have to be disguised, you know? Love for everybody. <laughs> but in the Sims 4, I swear that they're like weird about aliens. I don't know why, but they are. Um, I have no idea because in The Sims 2 they didn't have disguises and I believe not in The Sims 3 either. At least I'm not, not that I can remember. Um, but yeah, that's, that is just really, really odd. But yeah, as we're coming up to the end, make sure you guys go ahead and read all the instructions and things like that in my download post and make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Um, I love hearing from you guys. Tweet me pictures, send me pictures. I love love seeing you guys play it. And make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe for more content down below. And I will always be here to talk to you. Bye, bye, bye.